Hey guys, cold face on, yeah! And welcome back to Super Meat Boy! Uh, I forgot to do something, um, I looked at the percentage, I, um, I looked at the percentage in the game, I was supposed to get 100, 106%, let me talk! And I end up getting 105%, I was like, wait, that's not right, I should be getting 100, 106%. So I was looking and looking, and I realized I didn't do Chapter 6's Glitch World. I totally forgot that it had one. So in this episode, well, I don't know if I'm going to call it an episode or a bonus, because I'm also going to be showing off the characters a little bit, you know? I'll try to get through all of them, and um, yeah, I'm going to make a switch to the Xbox version too, so you can see some of the exclusive characters on there as well. So, yeah, I don't really know what to call it, so let's just do the Glitch World of Chapter 6. I already did it. I was practicing, and I finished it, and I was like, oh shit, wait, I wasn't supposed to do that. Yeah! So, yeah. This one's really, really easy, so it's not too bad. Uh! Oh, how the hell did I not get killed? Do you see the red mark on that? That was crazy. Oh, go, go, go. Oh, no, no! Okay. Yeah, okay, I'm good, I'm good. Alright, let's get through these little nuts. Nope! Okay, yeah, so... Yeah, that's it. <laughs> Jeez, that only took like a minute and a half, probably. So, yeah, that's it for that. Yeah, this is gonna be a quick video. Um, so, if we go back, since I completed that... Um, was it statistics? You can see right here the total progress I have now is 106%. And I died over 3,000 times. Oh my god! Ah! And yeah, it's 100% everything else. Yeah, so the PC version is 106%, and then the Xbox version is 102%. So that's cool. Now I'm going to show you guys um, the characters. And some of them are actually hidden. You have to type in. Uh, a certain phrase in the character selection menu. So I'm gonna start off with Alien Hamid. Yeah, skip this. The forest. He's like, mm. so I'm just gonna start off with the first one. So here's Alien Hamid. He's illegal. So I forgot what the hell he does. Okay, yeah. So I guess. Wait. Wait. So the every like the all the R button is to like run, but each one has like their own thing going on. How did I do that? I did like a bunch of them. Oh, so I press X. But what? What does that do? What the hell? Well, I'm pressing the R button right now. Wait, do I float? That'd be cool. I don't know. Well, let me do this. I still got an A plus. What the hell? Ah. Uh, so I'm kind of like. Yeah, I guess I just stay in midair a little bit. I think he's supposed to be like a mixture of Jill and like someone else. So, well, there's him. Um, I'm gonna make the switch to Captain Viridian now. And with him, oh shit, I'm gonna die. So, yeah, um, Alien Hominid is from the game Alien Hominid, Hominid, which is uh, made by the Behemoth, which is also the same people who created Castle Crashers. So, yeah. He was exclusive Xbox character, but he made the change over to um, the PC as well, since I think X the Castle Crashers came out for the PC. So yeah, here's Captain Viridian. Um, I played his game. It's called, like, VVVV, like, six Vs. V as in Victor, by the way, not B as in bitch. But yeah, with him, with his abilities, he can go up, like, he can go on the ceiling and stuff, and his game is so damn difficult. I got it on sale, and... Oh my gosh, I was streaming it for a little bit, and there's this, like, one coin or something you can get, and, oh my gosh, like, you had to dodge so many spikes, like, it took me, like, literally, like, 200 kills or so, 200 deaths, but yeah, so his ability is he can walk up on ceilings, and he can be very, very helpful, so yeah, there's him, and he's super cute, and, like, when he dies, he's like, ah! Oh, hang on, let me see if I can do it. Oh, what the fuck? Okay. Oh, never mind. Well, yeah, when he gets hit by something, he, he makes like a little cute noise. So there's Captain Viridian. Um, I'm gonna switch over to Ca uh, Commander Video. Yeah, and you've already seen me play some of these characters, so I'm just doing a review. So with him is 
If you hold the A button, he floats in midair and he leaves like a little trail. If you don't know who Commander Video is, he's from the Bit Trip series. That's a very fun series. There's a lot of different games to it. There's like Bit Trip Beat, Bit Trip Runner. The Runner one's like really fun too. And then there's Bit Trip Void, I think. There's a lot more. I just I don't remember them. But yeah, this is Captain Viridian. Not Captain Viridian. Commander Video. Um, can I switch characters to the other one? No, I can't. Some of them I think you have to like exit to the map to, and then you gotta go to the character selection screen for them. So yeah, um, I'm gonna go over and head over to Fly Wrench. Like his game is just the game Fly Wrench, and oh my gosh, I saw somebody play this video, like the gameplay of it. Oh my gosh, it was so trippy and it looks so fucking difficult, but. Like, the music was kind of awesome. It was all loud and, like, retro-y and stuff. But yeah, as you can see, um, it's just, like, a little thing. Me and my friend made a joke about it. We, like, called- we, well, we said, like, fly bench. I don't know, we thought it was just super hilarious, because we say- We had this, like, little inside joke about, like, the bench. Like, benches and stuff. You know who you are. Okay. But yeah, with him, um... He's just a little stick, and he can- triple jump I think yeah but his last jump each jump as it um, as he jumps each jump gets lower and lower so yeah but yeah this is him fly wrench jeez you gotta see his gameplay it's so weird but I love the music to it so there's him okay now I've never done this before so I'm gonna try to get a new character so I gotta type in the word balgu the yeah, there we go. So you hear push the buttons. And so you select any character, I believe, and you get Goo Ball from World of Goo. Oh shit. Yeah, so look at that. I've never played him before. This is the first time doing this shit. So I guess he's, he sticks on. So yeah, I, I guess he's kind of like head crab. So yeah, I guess that's him. That's cool. I love World of Goo. If you've not played that game, I highly, highly recommend it. It's a very fun game. It has to do with like puzzle and like geometric stuff kind of. So if you like puzzle games, I suggest you get it. Very fun game. I have it for I used to have it on my iPhone, I have it. But I switched to Android. I had it I have it on the iPad. Like my mom uses that shit all the time, so I never get to use it. And I also got it on the Wii. My friend gave it to me a long time ago. That's the first time I've had it. So yeah, there's oh, you can even hear him go, Wee! Oh, that's so cute. I didn't know that. That's so funny. Ugh, get over here. Yeah, so when you go to the next one, he's like, yay! Alright, so that is Goo Ball. Um, let's see, who's next? Headcrab? Switch characters to Headcrab? There he is. Yeah, okay. So, Headcrab is a very obvious one. If you don't know which game he's from, then... Yeah, he's from Half-Life. It's a very popular PC game. Um... Honestly, I've never been the whole Half-Life series. I know I should. It looks like a great game. I played the second one and I had a lot of fun with that, but I just I stopped playing. It wasn't that I didn't like it. It's just like, I don't know, I just I didn't feel like playing it, you know. It's just one of those moments. It's just one of those things, you know. But for his ability, he can um get on the walls. He can stick onto the walls like Goo Ball. So that's cool. He reminds me of a chicken. But yeah, he's a head crab, and they like they get stuck on like enemies, like the head crabs, like on the heads and stuff like that. And they also have it on the valve store as like a hat thing, which I thought was cool. I'm gonna die. <gasps> so yeah, there's him. Um, another one here is you can't get him anymore, I believe. His name is Potato Boy. He was supposed to be some like Potato April Fools thing kind of joke, like Potato Fools joke. I'll put a picture of him on the screen, but yeah, um, I try to see if I could get him, but you can't really get him anymore, so, um, yeah, I'm just putting up a picture of him. If you want to see some, like, actual gameplay of him, you can just YouTube it or something. So, the next character I have is Jill, and I've already used her before. Her, she's from the game Mighty Jill Off, which, that game looks, it looks kind of weird, but it's basically about, like, she licks her queen's, like, boots or something, and then she's like, you have to, you have to earn that sledge, so she, like, kicks her all the way down to the castle to, like, get back up to the castle, and, like, I don't know, I guess they have some sort of, like, relationship, so, like, I guess people say that Jill's a lesbian and stuff, but that's, that's fine by me, man, mm-hmm, so, yeah, that's Jill, 
Um, yeah, her game's pretty cool. It's... All the games that I've seen with these characters are pretty nice, so... Yeah, Jill has a, has a nice game, too. So, the next character I want to get into is Joseph from Mach Machinarium. I've never played the game, but I've seen some gameplay of it, and it looks pretty fun. Oh, and I forgot to say Jill's ability is just, if you keep tapping A, she kind of floats um, slowly down in midair. So, yeah, you saw that in the other one. So, yeah, with Joseph, he's from Machinima Air, and I just saw the screen flicker. Fuck you. So yeah, what his ability is, um, you press A twice, and you can, like, f hover a little bit in midair. So, I guess that's kind of cool. I put his game on my wish list on Steam, because it looks kind of fun, actually. It's a puzzle game, and I'm, I really, really, really love puzzle games, so. Yeah, there's Joseph, the cute little machine guy. I think his story is about, um, like, someone dumped him in behind the city or something like that, and he's trying to, like, figure out what happened. I think he has to save his girlfriend. Yeah, his, like, robot girlfriend or something. <laughs> I don't know the whole story, so sorry if I'm wrong. So, uh, let's see. The next character I'll get into is Meat Ninja. Leaderboard's blocked. Playing as Meat Ninja disables later on. Oh, shit. So yeah, I guess it disables the... So with him, I guess he's like... Someone said that he he runs. Oh, that's weird. But his like motto says the future. So people, so I was saying maybe that Meat Boy eventually turns ninja in the future or something. And when you unlock him, like, something funny happens. Like, it's a rare thing, but it's something like, I like wet fur or some shit. I don't know, it's really weird. So, I don't know what special ability. He, something about teleporting, I heard. I don't, I'm not getting it. Maybe if I die. No. Huh. I'm not, I'm trying to teleport, but it's not working. I guess it's supposed to be, like, right before his death or something I read about. But I'm not too sure, so... Well, there's Meat Ninja. The other character I'll get into, this next one here, is Nija from Aquaria. I like her ability. Like, you press... You, like, keep pressing the R button and you'll, like, turn into this glowy bitch or something. Shit. Yeah, and so, like, you'll fly around and stuff. And I thought it was pretty cool. Like, you could keep tapping it. You can, like, fly around and shit like that. Let me finish this level. Like, this is getting annoying. So, yeah, so her her game, um, I like the art style. I've seen the trailer of it. It looks pretty cool. I don't know what the whole story is, but she's like this fish girl, and I just saw like some gameplay of it, like a trailer, and she was like beating up these cool ass fish bosses and shit. I thought that was really cool, and I put that on my wish list too on Steam, because like all these games look pretty nice, and I'm sure I would like Aquaria too, so. So yeah, there is um, Nija from Aquaria. The next character I'll get into is Agmo. We've seen him already, but he's from Jumper. And his game is is really hard too. He's, I think, supposed to be a failed experiment. So that's all, that's how much, that's all I know about him. But yeah, he can double jump and stuff, so yeah. His game looks pretty cool too. I don't think it's on for Steam, I think it's just a game by itself. But yeah, I double jump, he looks like a weirdo. And yeah. So, um, let's see, Ogmo. The next one I'll get into is Run Man here. Oh yeah, Ogmo's a bill shit. Ogmo's ability was double jumping, so yeah. With him, oh my gosh, seriously, Run Man's game looks like it was made by a fucking two year old. You should look at it. It's called, I think, Run Man uh, Race Around the World. Yeah. And so, he's supposed to be just super fast and stuff, like, wee. Yeah, he's... Yeah, he's fast. Ugh. Woohoo! Yeah, so yeah, that's Run Man. I think if you go fast enough... Oh, shit, yeah. Yeah, there you go. See, when you... Damn it! <laughs> when you go fast enough, he leaves, like, a little rainbow trail, so... Run Man's cute, I guess. He reminds me of Starfy that game, I think for the DS, I have it. I never got to finish it, but it was cute. I should. There's so many games I haven't finished yet, but yeah, there's Run Man for ya. Um, the next one I'll get into is Steve. And most of you know him from Minecraft. So like, when I f we used him in one of my videos, I had no idea that there I made a blog. I was like, what the hell? So yeah, like, you can make these blogs. I thought that was like, really cool. Shit. 
Oh, I didn't mean to do that. What the hell was that? What the hell? Oh. Jeez. Okay, so... Let's see, let's make a block. So yeah, he makes blocks and you can make them, like, thin air and stuff. So that was pretty cool shit. But yeah, I'm not exactly out of this. So yeah, that's Steve for you. Um, uh, I'm just gonna go back to some levels. I don't even know. Uh, the next one I want to get into is the kid from I Want to Be the Guy. And so his special ability is just j double jumping. Woohoo! His game, oh my gosh, I seen it and I don't even know if I could even beat that because that shit's insane. Like, there's spikes and there's hidden shit and you gotta like, dodge it. Like, you need to see his game. Like, his game's crazy. But yeah, double jumping, it's nothing special, but his actual game is very, very difficult. So, if you like a challenge, look into that game. So, yeah. Steve, well, the kid. Alright, so the next one here is. I'm gonna exit to the map because you can only get him in the character selection screen. So, to get him, you gotta type in at a time. Like O U T T A T I M E. So. Did that do it? I'd wait, I don't think it makes a push the button thing. So, there he is. Yeah, so he doesn't make a push the buttons guy. So, him, he. This is Tim. He's from, uh, Braid? I think that's how you say it. And so with his abilities, you press the R button. Let me see. You can go back in time. So let me see. Let me do something like this. Whee! So you go like that, and you're back there. It's very useful if you're about to die. So that's pretty cool. I played a demo of his game before. It was, like, it was really weird, but I never got too much into it. It's not, it's not that I didn't like it. It's just, like, I just never got into the game. So, yeah. Well, there's Tim for y'all. Um, who's next? Oh, okay. Here we go. I'm gonna... Here's the big one. Um, well, whatever. I'm just gonna go to random thing. So, with this one, you gotta type in pedophile. It's It looks like pedophile, but it's pedophile. Like, P-E-T-A-P-H-I-L-E. And, let's type that in. Push the button! There we go. Now, if you, I think you have to pick Meat Boy for this, and you will get Tofu Boy. I just locked an achievement. So, he doesn't do shit, and it's supposed to be, like, a joke that I think... Oh, what's his name? The guy, the creator, like, Ed McMullen or something? So, what happened was, I think he made a whole bunch of accounts on PETA. And so, you can't even do anything with him. He's so fucking slow, which is, like, supposed to be the whole point. So I think what happened was he made, like, a whole bunch of accounts on PETA, and he was telling, like, PETA about this Super Meat Boy game. Like, like oh, it's a terrible game, you know, it's using meat and stuff and hormones and all this other shit. And so PETA actually looked into the game and, like, made their own game called Su Super Tofu Boy. And I played the game a little bit, and it was kind of, like, wacky, but it was kind of fun still. And so, I guess what Ed did, he he made some Tofu Boy as a character in Super Meat Boy, because I guess the game got so big, you know? So, yeah, so they, yeah, this is Tofu Boy. He doesn't do anything at all. He's just super slow. Oh, there I jumped down to this. Whee! So, yeah, it's, it's probably a bad level to even use him with. Let me see, I'm going to exit to the map. I'm going to go to the first one. La, 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 la. Okay, pedophile. Push the buttons. Okay. So yeah, I can't even make it up to Bandage Girl. He just—he's so slow. He doesn't do shit. <laughs> he reminds me of Jack Skellington. It's like, ah, why the fuck am I made out of tofu? <laughs> okay, what the hell is that a bunny? What the fuck? It look at the bunny. What the hell is it doing? <laughs> what the fuck? Bandage girl! Okay, yeah, I'm, I'm done with him. So, the next character I want to get to is... You also gotta go to the character selection screen. So, you know how there's Super Meat Boy, Bandage Girl, Dr. Fetus, and Brownie? You can actually play as Brownie. So, I think the way to do this on the keyboard is you go down, 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 etc. Well, ex down, 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 escape, 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 enter on the keyboard. I don't know about the Xbox, it's like the controllers and stuff, but I'm gonna do it for him. I don't know if it's push the buttons thing, but you gotta do it really fast, so they said. One, two, three, one, two, three. No, damn it. I didn't do it right. Huh. Exit to map. 
I thought that's what you had to do. Maybe it's got to be really fast. Damn it. Yeah, but you can play as um, Brownie. Maybe I'll cut something. Maybe I'll cut into like when I get to actually do it. Okay, let me see if I can do this again. I'm going to do this with the Xbox controller. I don't know if it's going to work or not. Yeah, there we go. I just did it. Okay, so I should be playing as Brownie now. Yeah, there he is. Okay. So it just took me like a couple of minutes. So yeah, so this is Brownie made out of shit. Um, yeah, Brownie is made from Dr. Fetus's fecal matter. So fecal matter, aka shit. So yeah, he's just like Meat Boy. He doesn't really have any special abilities. Seems really f yeah fast. I guess he's like a reskin or some shit. So yeah, there's Brownie. Um, Push the shit! Eat the shit! Yum, 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 shit! Okay, yeah, so there's brownie for you. Um, so, oh, also, um, there's some more characters here. Let's see. These are just 8 bit, like 4 bit Meat Boy. Here, I'm showing them right now. This is 8 bit Meat Boy. It's just, he's nothing special. He's just from, like, the character warp zones, you know? So, yeah, it's just, that's 8 bit Meat Boy. It's nothing special. Yeah, it's just, um, what do you call it? A retro version of Meat Boy. Ooh, I gotta be woo! So, um... I'm, yeah, I can only access them on the character selection screen, I believe, so... This one here is the four-color Meat Boy. He's in the old-school retro-looking levels here in Meat Boy. Yeah, so... Noth again, nothing special. He leaves a trail of gray matter, I guess. Gray trail of meat? I don't know. Ron Meat? Ron Pussy! Um, so yeah, it's, that's, uh, the four color meat boy. No, exit a map. So, um, I think there's one more. Yeah, and this is just four bit meat boy. And again, it's, it looks just like the eight bit one, kind of. I think he lives a brighter thing of goo, which is, that's kind of cool. But yeah, again, like, he's nothing special. He's just the retro version looking one of him. So yeah, there's... There's that. Um, I don't think there's any more characters to show. Let me see. Yeah, I already got all that shit. So yeah, um, I'm going to switch over to the Xbox version and then just and just show those exclusive ones. Um, the exclusive Xbox 360 characters. So I will be back. Hey guys, I'm back and I just shit it everywhere. It got all on my dolls and on the ceiling and everything. I had to clean it up. Yeah. It's just, it went everywhere. Can't believe it went in my doll's mouths and everything. Domokun! No, I, just, I don't even know what the hell I was saying. I'm just trying to be funny. <laughs> so I am on the Xbox right now, and I'm going to get into the first and only exclusive character on this game, and that is Gish. And I guess, yeah, his game is just called Gish. So he's supposed to, he's, I guess, supposed to be, um, like a combination between Balku and Headcrab. He was supposed to like, he's like the exclusive Xbox of like Headcrab. Well, you know what I mean. So anyways, yeah, he sticks onto ceilings and stuff. But, um, shit. You have to hold A, I believe, in order to like, to stick onto the ceiling. Sheesh. Nope. And, let me see. Uh, see, let me see. Um, go over here. So. Yeah, you have to hold A in order to stick onto the ceiling, which I guess is kind of a little dumb, but whatever. But yeah, his game is kind of weird. It's like, it's a puzzle game, and he looks weird. He looks, I don't know, he just looks weird to me. And I guess you have to save his girlfriend, I think, too? I don't, I don't know, there's so many girlfriend saving shits in this game. But he's also an unlockable boss in The Binding of Isaac, and I never got that far in that game, but that game's fun. Really fun, it's just I never beaten it, just like the rest of the million games I have. But yeah, here is Gish. Um, maybe I can switch over to this one. So, yeah, you can also get Tim on this one too. You can unlock him by like getting 30 bandages or something, but on Steam, it had to be like a code. So, the next one I want to get into is Spelunky here. And I played a demo of his game, his game was fun. So, shit. So, yeah, his ability is like he darts super fast with these bombs, like. Psh I like, don't want to die. Oh god! So yeah, it's, I guess the really bad level to do it in, or maybe not. I could do it right here. So yeah, if you um, 
if you're in midair and you press A again, you can dart whichever way you want to go with these bombs, I think. And I played the demo of his game. It was, it was fun. I had fun with it. Um, he's like some treasure hunter guy, I think. Something like that. But yeah, he has like a red nose. It's, it's kind of cute. And it's on Steam now, so I'm wondering if they're going to put his character on the Super Meat Boy game for the PC version, so... I don't know. So, yeah, there is Spelunky from the game Spelunky. And the other one I want to get into is the Ninja. And he is from a game I fucking hated. So, but he's so cute in this game. His game, he's from N+. He is, yeah, Xbox only. I played that game. Oh my god. I, I've had so many frustrating moments with that game. Like... It is a really hard game, like, you gotta dodge all these fucking missiles, it's like Super Meat Boy in a way. So, with his ability is, you can like fly, you can like hover in the air for a while, like, he's so light, you can just stay in mid-air for a while, so. You gotta hold A, of course, so yeah. And he goes really fast, and someone was saying that he's even better than Super Meat Boy, I think it was this character, I believe. Damn, I gotta get a, a walkway that's, like, really fast. Well, just a walkway so he can just run across. Because he's, he's pretty fast. Oh, well, damn it, I picked Meat Boy. Ugh, forget it. Well, so yeah, that was... Um, so yeah, that's a ninja from N+. He's really fast when he's running. When he's running, he's really fast, and then he hovers in midair. Like, he stays in midair longer because he's lighter, but yeah, so... Stop fucking messing it up. So the last um, Xbox exclusive character is the Pink Knight from Castle Crashers. He's also, I think you can buy him on the Castle Crashers game. I, I bought him. And just because it was pink and it was cute. So his... Okay. So yeah, his ability, it's like Yoshi. It's like, yeah, Gotta get up! Yeah. Oh, shit. Ugh, let's go to a different level. Um, let's go to seven. Hush. Hush. Oh, wrong character. Oh, okay, yeah, this is a good one for him. So, uh, let's make that switch. Okay. So yeah, Pink Knight from Castle Crashers. Very fun game. I'm sure a lot of you people have played that game before. When I meet people online, I'm like, do you have Castle Crashers? They're like, no. I'm like, what the hell? Because it's like supposed to be like the number one game, number one arcade game on the Xbox. I don't, know, I don't fucking know. I have it on the PC too, me and my friend bought it, and we always have fun with it. So yeah, so his ability is if, you, if you're if you in mid-air and you press A again, you kind of do that thing like Yoshi does. He's like, I gotta take a shit. I used to do that with my friend, she used to laugh so hard. I was like in high school, I'm just that stupid. But yeah, he can just, he has like kind of like another double jump in a way, kind of like, he has that extra reach, like, uh, uh, it's like I'm almost there. So yeah, that's Pink Knight. And that's all of them. Is there a- no, I want there to be a long walkway for the ninja. I want to use him. Yeah, um, that's it. Those are all the characters of Super Meat Boy, and yeah, I just- I 106%ed on the PC version. I don't know if I actually got 102% on this game. On the Xbox version, I'm pretty sure I did. Oh, 104%. I thought I was 102%. I gotta look into that. But yeah, um, thank you guys for watching. I think in the the next bonus, I'll I'll do a Super Meat World, um, what's it called? Custom levels. So yeah, I'll do that just so you guys can see how it is and stuff. So yeah, thank you guys for watching, and see you guys later. <laughs>